Hello, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for March. This promises to be quite a dramatic month, and it begins in a really exciting fashion, with Mars, the planet of drama, forging an alliance with Uranus, the planet of surprises, and both are in opposition to Jupiter, the planet of growth, which is in its best location for you for 12 years. Jupiter is all about encouraging you to show your flair, creativity, style and talent and wooing people with the whole skill set that you have. But I think this opposition could give you so much extra confidence but also see you make some instant decisions or impulsive moves, perhaps around your love life even, which is, as long as you're prepared for the fallout from these, you may like or love every single minute, especially if it brings some passion crashing into your world. If you're wanting to think about your situation a bit more strategically, the Sun and Mercury and also dreamy Neptune are all gathered in the part of your situation to do with the way you link with the wider world. This is important around your goals, ambitions, work and also how other people view you. But the Sun is combining with Neptune across the first few days of this month. This suggests that if you're a compassionate person or someone who works in a healing or caring profession, this can be a time when your energies are magnified in a very positive way. It's also possible, however, that there could be a little bit of confusion about what you should do in terms of your next big step forwards. With this dramatic energy that Mars conjunct Uranus is creating, it's important, therefore, to not jump from the proverbial fire into the frying pan. So just try to slow things down a bit, I think, as this month begins. In actual fact, Mars is going to be forging a hugely stabilising link with the stern but structural energies of Saturn from the 1st through to the 9th. Fantastic if you want to work on something in a collective way, but there may be one particular person that you're going to be linking with quite closely or cooperatively. If there is a relationship around you like this, it's one that can really get stronger in this first 10 days of the month. On the 4th, however, Venus, which continues its gorgeous journey through the most sociable part of your scope, does go into a retrograde, and of course Jupiter is already in a rewind too. For you, both of these influences are uh, going to be uh, affecting the polarity in your situation between having fun, interacting with others, and also more sincere, romantic or creative hopes. It doesn't mean to say that this is going to be a bad thing. It's just suggesting that be guided by the principle of sincerity, by the people you're drawn to and the actions you take, and that will guide you beautifully forwards. Venus retrograde is uh, an aspect, or an influence, sorry, that can make us just more serious about the whole meaning of our connections to others. I actually have it in my natal horoscope. Uh, so when it's there, when we're born, it makes us really quite serious about relationships, but also that can be a very positive thing. Now on the 11th, it's true that there is a full moon, but it's a full moon that's linking to Jupiter in a semi-sextile. I think for you, essentially, there could be a work-life balance issue that does need some realignment, but perhaps the principle here is about having fun, that life should be about pleasure. For a lot of us, it is a serious old business these days, and it's not easy necessary, uh, necessarily to get through life um, because of all the challenges that it does present. So if you can find a way in the second half of this month to lighten things up a little bit, then do it. It will work magic for you. However, perhaps one of the most important moments of this month does come on the 10th because then Mars is going to be re relocated into the sign of uh, Taurus, which for you is a tender area. And for the following six weeks, you may be surprised by some of the subconscious energies that Mars does churn up. You may find yourself thinking about someone you used to be involved with, perhaps in a professional capacity from your past. There may even be some kind of reunion or link made. 
It's also possible that any old emotional debris which is still working its way around through the depths could come up into the open in the weeks following. And your mood at times could be a little bit variable. However, when your ruler Mercury arrives into the sign of Aries on the 14th, I definitely think that's a champagne moment. Mercury here is going to be lively, vivacious. It's going to help you to network for fun, which you're pretty good at anyway. It's just going to increase the vibe in a wonderful way. Now, by the end of this month, Mercury is going to connect with Uranus itself. And any novel or original or radical ideas that you have can really find a platform on the back of this. And it can be superb. You may find yourself doing a bit of a U-turn, going in a different direction in terms of your long-term hopes, but you will feel alive and stimulated, which is so important for your sign. And of course, the sun moves on the 20th into Aries, and there's a fabulous new moon on the 28th. All brilliant for your social situation and for bringing that theme through of having fun. Of course, life can be that serious business, but that's really what's emerging for you as this month goes on, about getting together with the people you really feel most comfortable with, can connect with, share your values with, and hopes, and even perhaps some principles around the things that you're going to unite together in order to work towards. However, Mars does forge a very subtle link with Neptune in the last week of this month too. For you, I feel, something that you do behind the scenes as far as your work or professional situation is concerned, it may have a degree of discretion attached to it. It may see you working in a big institution or working with people who perhaps need some kind of psychological support or health, but your compassion and caring in this regard will be something that gives you a great deal of personal satisfaction. It's an exciting month for you, Gemini. There's no doubt about it. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.